The cartwheel is an iconic gymnastics skill which is essential for beginner gymnasts to learn as it forms the foundation for a lot of fundamental floor and tumbling skills. It's also a cool little trick which anybody can learn, it's great fun and is genuinely achievable even for people well into adulthood with or without specialist gymnastics equipment or previous gymnastics experience. Before you start learning a cartwheel, you need to be strong enough to support your body weight on your hands and you need to be flexible enough to split your feet to at least 90 degrees without needing to bend your legs. Being able to hold a handstand against a wall for a few seconds is a useful first step, so take some time to learn this if you can't already do it. If you cannot get your legs apart to 90 degrees without bending your legs or experiencing some pain, you may need to spend some time stretching before working up to the cartwheel. The first exercise to practice is the sideways bunny hop, which will again get you used to supporting your body weight on your hands, as well as giving you a feel for the cartwheel motion. The first thing to establish is which direction you're going to turn in. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you are consistent. If you start doing some attempts one way and some the other way, that's where things can start to get a little complicated. So take some time to choose early on which direction feels most comfortable and then stick to it. I personally turn my hands to the left in a cartwheel. So for the sideways bunny hop, start in a squat position and place your hands on the floor in front of you turned to your chosen side. Jump your feet around the side and try to land your feet further on than where your hands started. As you get better at this, you should be able to jump higher and higher such that eventually your hips pass directly over your head rather than coming around the side. Once you can do this, you can move on to practicing the same movement but starting from a step instead of a squat. Start stood up straight with your arms above your head and then step forwards on the leg which is on the same side you're going to turn in. As you bend down, turn your hands sideways and kick your back leg up over the top of your head to give you the momentum to carry you all the way over. As soon as you are able to do this nicely, you're really not that far away from the full cartwheel. All you need to do now is try to do it in the star shape instead of the tucked shape. To do this, be sure to drive the back leg up really hard straight over the top of your head as you step into the cartwheel. Keep your legs extended and separated as wide apart as possible. Pass through the split handstand shape. Wait until your feet touch the floor before pushing to stand up again. If possible, you may wish to start off a slightly raised surface initially to help you land more cleanly before working it back down to level floor. Try to do the cartwheel at a moderate speed. Too fast and you don't give yourself enough time to focus on the correct technique, and too slow, you're more likely to fall off to the side or for your arms to collapse. It's quite a common mistake to start with one arm up and already turned sideways. Try your best to start facing forwards with both arms up and then turn on your way down. Another common problem is to kick slightly around the side instead of going straight over the top, which will cause your cartwheel to go wonky. Try doing your cartwheel along a line or through a narrow gap between mats to help straighten it out until you can do it squarely. Once you have a nice linear cartwheel, why not have a play around trying to do two or three or as many as you can in a row, or landing facing backwards instead of sideways, or even trying to do it with just one hand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like it, favourite it, and share it with anyone else who you think might find it helpful. For more regular updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and for even more videos and updates, make sure that you like my Facebook page and subscribe to my training YouTube channel. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, please leave them below and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you. Hopefully see you again soon.